Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I have a Dollar Tree empties video for you all. Um, it's been a while since I posted a Dollar Tree empties video and I have been accumulating these items for over the last year and so I definitely want to show you all what are some hits and misses from Dollar Tree. I know I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls but I actually do use my items too. So let me hop right on in and show you all what I've used up over the last year plus. So this right here. Oops. Or all the items that I used up. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop right on in and show you all what I used. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm gonna just hop right, hop right on in and show you all what I used up. Um, the first thing I see right off the top here is a perfume that I used up. It is a uh, posture. Excuse my little one in the background. It is posture, and this is the impression of Christian Dior, The Door by Christian Dior. I actually really enjoy these uh, perfumes from Dollar Tree. I've mentioned this in a couple of my videos. They are very good dupes. Well, not even dupes, but very good impressions of what the actual item will smell like. Um, I actually did smell Your Door in the store, and this does smell just like it. It's a really nice, soft, feminine scent. And yeah, I really enjoyed it a lot, so... Um, yeah, I used up this bottle completely. The only reason I keep the actual box too is because on the bottle it doesn't show what the perfume is an impression of. It just says posture. And so I try to keep the boxes too so I can remember, you know, what the impression of it was. But I normally spray this at night before I go to bed. I'm the type, I'm the type of person I like to put perfume on before I go to sleep. So typically that's what I'll do. I'll just put this on before I go to bed. And yeah, that's how I get through these perfumes from Dollar Tree. Next item I have here is a body oil. I use this one up in the scent cucumber and aloe again these are really hydrating and really really good for your skin if you haven't tried these um, from Dollar Tree I highly recommend them this is probably one of my favorite items that they carry I have looks like oh yeah I went through a phase where I was using a lot of bath bombs so um, I have so I went through a phase where I was using a lot of bath bombs um, when I was pregnant I actually took a lot of baths and so these little bath bombs came in handy so I'm gonna just show you all the ones that I got here um, these are the scents that they were that they were used in so the first one is called let me do each one individually do not stress and it's on the back it says kind of what it was scented as so that's one the second one oh, I actually used up two of the do not stresses I actually have a very very pink this one was very sparkly um it says scented bath bomb it's oh it's scented in wild berry so let me see what this one was oh this was donut flavored that's pretty cool and i remember this was shaped like a donut i thought it was so cute and this one um is wild berry i remember this one was circular and had um pink glitters um this one's sprinkled with love and this one was lavender scented so yeah, um, these bath bombs are super cute and they actually work fairly well for a bath. So if you all see these at Dollar Tree, I would recommend them as well. I have like a huge supply of them. I don't know if I ever did a haul on it. If not, maybe I'll just go through and show you all the ones that I currently have. Um, and whenever I take a bath or if I'm in my bath taking mood, those are what I will use. I also used up, um, looks like some eyelashes. Um, they, they had these from e.l.f there at dollar tree i did not like these at all they were horrible to put on and did not look that great once they were on so i would not reckon i would not recommend these but honestly recently dollar tree has started carrying some really nice like 3d faux mink lashes so actually i'm excited to try those out i have a few of them and so i want to try them out and see how they work but if you all see the ones from elf don't bother wasting your dollar on it they did not work well at all the next item i see here is some facial wipes i actually really like these a lot i originally was just using these as my makeup wipes in general um but i watched a video from the glam twins and they were saying that it's actually not good to use um makeup wipes to remove your makeup is better to use uh, micellar water and so I've actually um, what I've been doing is just putting my micellar water on this wipe to help me wipe my makeup off so yeah and it does come off a lot easier and a lot quicker so yeah I like these wipes I will continue to get them but with the intention of putting a micellar water on it to get the makeup off my face but this one is in the scent vanilla cream and this is from Bolero I think I have a few of these in here let's see I also have Okay, another one in vanilla cream. Let's see. Okay, I have one. Uh, this was coconut water facial wipes, and it's from it was it was a Hydra, I guess brand, or hi, it's supposed to be for hy hydration. It says Hydra Mist on there, so I used that one up. 
what else do I have here? I think that's all I can see right off the bat. Um, next thing I used up was some uh, laundry scent boosters, and this is in the scent uh, Fresh Scent. So that's what this looks like. These are fairly good. I do like them. Um, yeah, I think they did work. Um, but my mom recently got me hip to the Downy Unstoppables in the Fresh Scent, and those like surpassed. Actually, wow. Hmm. Now that I'm smelling this, I think this is supposed to be a dupe for the Downy Unstoppables. They smell just alike, but this doesn't have the lasting power nowhere near the Downy Unstoppables. Like, I can use just a minuscule amount of those, and it and it it, it has my, my laundry smelling really, really good. This one, unfortunately, doesn't do that same thing, but it's a nice dupe for it. You don't want to pay so much money for the other ones. Um, but one thing I noticed that Dollar Tree started doing, which I didn't appreciate, was they actually decreased the amount that you get. So these are the exact same item. I think I got this one first, and then I picked this one up later because I bought a lot of them. And this one is 15 ounces, as you can see. But then they started selling it again in a 10.5 ounce bottle. So I guess they're trying to cut costs and save money or whatnot. But yeah, these were decent. I probably won't be purchased. I probably won't be purchased because now I'm using the Downy Unstoppables and I love it. I also picked up one other scent in a scent booster. And this is Citrus Scent. So that's what that looks like. This one didn't impress me. It smells nice in the container, but it doesn't smell nice um, on the laundry. Yeah, it smells nice on the container, in the container, but doesn't didn't smell nice on the laundry. So I'll probably, if I did have to pick one, I'd pick the blue ones. Um, so that's that. I also used uh, some hand soap. This is from Jergens. Sorry that the bottle was all icky, but um, yeah, this one is in cherry almond. This stuff's really good, very hydrating. I would recommend it. The next one that I used up here is, let's see. Okay, so I have another hand soap. This one is in lemon, verbena, and mint. I actually did enjoy this. The scent had decent lasting power um, after you washed your hands, and I really like the container. It looks nice and kind of luxurious. So um, it's possible I might keep this and just take the label off of it and keep it in my guest bathroom so that it can look nice and fancy. Um, but we'll see. I might just ditch it. But yeah, I'll probably repurpose this, but did like the scent a lot. I would recommend their hand soap. This was a body wash by Soft Whispers. Um, I forget which scent it was in. Oh, okay. Uh, it's pomegranate lemon verbena. That was the scent and this was actually really good um i took the label off because i started using it as like a foaming hand soap dispenser um but i think at some point it just kind of gave out on me so i just went ahead and declared it empty but if you all find the foaming body washes from soft whisper from dollar tree they're actually pretty good the next item that i used up um actually my hubby used this one up and this is actually from orm and hammer it's an essentials body wash and i think it's in the scent yeah it's in the scent clear water and this yeah, it smells pretty good. It really just smells like nice, clean water. And um, I think my hubby liked using it. I think I used it once or twice. Lather was really good. I actually would recommend this. I mean, with Arm & Hammer products, they're normally pretty good. So I would definitely repurchase this if I saw it again. The next body wash that I used up is the New Nouveau. It's from Spa House. It's Mind & Body. And it's supposed to be um, coconut, oat and honey extracts it's hydration body wash this was horrible i did not like this at all i was happy that it was in a big container but it was a big container of nothing because this stuff was so watery and it did not lather well at all i ended up having to throw it in a uh, hand soap dispenser so that i can get rid of it but i would not repurchase this or recommend it i do have here another facial facial wipe and this one's in the coconut and sea salt scent that's what that looks like um next here i have it looks like i found okay yeah so this is a cuticle oil i wanted to i'm actually still currently using this item i mean a cuticle oil is a cuticle oil but i wanted to mention it here in this empties because um it's actually pretty good and if you can find some cuticle oils at dollar tree why not pick them up they're super cheap and it comes in like a container that has like a little brush on it so it's easy to brush around the cuticle area so this one says compared to sally hansen vitamin e nail and cuticle oil um and it says it helps strengthen and maintain healthy nails so yeah i like that i have found this i wish i would have got more when i seen it but i'm actually to the point where um i want to start creating my own cuticle oil so you all might see that type of video coming soon um let's see what else i have here okay looks like i have another one of the scent boosters this one's in the 15 ounce container i see another facial wipe here this is in the pink sea salt and rose water scent 
like so. I do have another um, bath bomb that I used in the donut scent. I must have really liked the donut scent. They were really cute though. Um, I, I, I hope I showed you all the haul of those. They were super adorable. Next item I used up here is the Vanilla Sugar Raspberry Body Scrub. It says cleanse and exfoliate. This did not do any type of scrub in the shower. If anything, it just felt like I was rubbing nothing on my I don't even know how to describe it like it didn't lather it didn't scrub it just I felt like I was just rubbing it on my skin just to be rubbing something on my skin um I don't really recommend these and I probably wouldn't repurchase it no I know I wouldn't repurchase this but the packaging is really cute um let me see what the scent is I don't even remember what the scent smells like the scent isn't all that impressive either yeah I, this is a hard pass for me so yeah if you see this just just pass it up trust me next item i have here oh, okay i used up some more lashes this was in the it says eileen it says single and ready to mingle keep your lashes long and your standards high i mean i like the saying on it but these lashes were also not great they kind of reminded me of the um the ones that i got from elf um they just they didn't do much right like they just they just didn't do much at all so if you see these there i wouldn't recommend it next item i used up here is a, a barbie detangler it's in the scent cotton candy you all i was actually really shocked at how good this item is you all see i have some natural coarse kinky hair right i did not think seeing something that looks like barbie on a container would actually work for my hair but this stuff is absolutely amazing since i've used this up i actually haven't seen it at my local dollar tree anymore but this stuff smells so good i mean it smells just like cotton candy like it smells delicious but the bigger thing is is that it actually works like and it works very very well like yeah this stuff had my 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 tangles melting out of my hair like i was very very impressed with this and i actually used another one from dollar tree i didn't go through it all because it tangled my hair but this stuff right here it's amazing if you have natural 4c hair and you're looking for a nice cheap detangler a dollar at dollar tree go and get this it's the barbie detangler and cotton candy it says smooths and untangles hair it is absolutely correct and it smells really really good i'm really shocked like i said i'm really shocked at how good this product worked but highly 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 recommend it if i see it again i will pick it up since we're talking about hair stuff i did go through one of uh it's a deep conditioner and co-wash i think i just use this as a leave-in conditioner on my hair um in general i i have mixed feelings about this line from dollar tree one moment i hate it the next minute i love it um recently i actually used um not necessarily this particular product but it's like the curl stretch cream and i use this along with some gel that i got from dollar tree and it worked really good to like give me some good curl definitions so honestly i think i kind of like it i don't know i feel like this works really good on dry hair so if you try to use it on wet hair it won't work but on dry hair i feel like it worked really good and it made my curls pop a little bit and then when i use that dollar gel that i got it also worked well so you'll see those products being mentioned in the video here soon but um yeah i actually would recommend this only use it on dry hair though do not use it on wet hair it will tangle your stuff to shreds um the next item that i got here is the leave-in conditioner from um is the leave-in conditioner i don't remember how i quite got through this item i don't know it's still a little bit left in here i'm not bothered to use it up i can't remember if i just Oh, okay yeah i use this as a leave-in conditioner as well i think their leave-in conditioners are pretty good in general so along with that item i used this up and it worked really well again use it only on dry hair the next items i have here are just a few candles um i have this candle here just says dream big um scent wasn't that great i got it really just for decor to have in my bathroom and wouldn't repurchase it I think this item came like this like a little cupcake which is really cute this actually smelled really good in the bathroom yeah this is something i actually would repurchase um but again like i said it's in the scent toasted cream okay the next candle i have here is in fresh linen I was really disappointed with this scent. I thought it was going to have better throw, but it didn't. So would not recommend that. The next item I have here is Cool Lime Iced Tea. Really love the packaging on this candle. It was green. It was super cute. You see it burned all the way through to the bottom. But you guys, this did not smell like anything. Like I burned it and I didn't even know I was burning a candle. So I wouldn't recommend that. The packaging is really cute, but mm, the candle didn't work well at all. Next, I have the Rose Collection. This is in the scent 
spring berry um this one had a very faint throw to it um again nothing strong enough to where i feel like i would repurchase it but i used it i like the little container that it came in i might actually repurpose this for something in my beauty room this item actually what is this this item actually had really great throw and I feel bad because now I don't even know what the scent is on here. Um, it's some type of cinnamon scent, but you all, this this right here, it had great throw and I feel bad. I can't even tell you what it was because the label came off. But if you see a red candle, it smells like something cinnamony. Like I think any type of cinnamon or Christmas scents from Dollar Tree, those candles seem to have pretty decent throw. Yeah. A few candles that I do like from Dollar Tree that I absolutely love though is the candles that come in the mason jars. If you find these, get them. They have really great throw and they burn really nicely. Um, this this scent is in watermelon. Yeah, I really like this scent a lot. Oh yeah, it just smells like a nice sweet juicy watermelon. These have really good throw. Next items is some more like air fresheners. Uh, this is from Glade. I think this was like in the scent Hawaiian Breeze, I think. The other one I have here is the Renitzit Forever Raspberry. It's in, yeah, Forever Raspberry. This is actually really good. This has really good throw. I would recommend getting this one for sure. I did use up another bath bomb from Bolero. This was in the scent Oatmeal Shea. Um, I used up a couple of, oh, I used up another bath bomb here and it was in almond milk and honey. These were okay. I don't think I like them as much as the ones that came in the silver package, but they were okay to use. Um, I did go through some more perfumes. Um, looks like I used up floral cold. This is from Giorgio. This is supposed to be the impression of Giorgio Armani. And this one, yeah, it smelled pretty good. Um, it just smells like a nice uh, floral scent. This is what the bottle looks like. I don't know that I would repurchase this, but I have it here and it was decent. The next one that we used, that the next one that I used up is Blue Wear. I think my hubby actually ended up using this up. This was supposed to be an impression of a Dolce & Gabbana like blue. Um, it smelled like it, but it just wasn't that great. It was so, I didn't like it so much to the point that I, you know, was like, hubby, can you help me use this up? So yeah, me and my hubby got through this. I went through, looks like another bath bomb. It's in the scent So Emotional. Um, well, it was called So Emotional and it had, uh, it was in the scent Jasmine. Okay. I did go through um, a Bior Charcoal uh, Micellar Cleansing Water. So this is what I was using in conjunction with my facial wipes that I was, my facial wipes that I was telling you all about. This stuff is really, really good. Um, I got the two ounce, two point five ounce container for a dollar at Dollar Tree. This is a really good steal. Um, I actually ended up since purchasing the bigger bottle from Walmart, which I think retail for like eight bucks like eight ounces or something like that um but yeah um if i saw this again at dollar tree i would repurchase it and it's nice to have this too because what i'll do is i'll take my bigger bottle and just refill this one up um and then if i need to travel i have like a little travel container for it. like it opens really easily so happy that i have this the next item i used up is actually some um what's this dishwasher pods so i used this up in cascade these work pretty good um i'd recommend it but i think i like finish better it looks like i used up another one of these uh scent boosters for the laundry in first scent so i'm really surprised i went through five of these from dollar tree over the last year so that's pretty good the next item i have here is another one of the shower foams so this is what the packaging actually looks like on the shower foam so yeah i used up another one of these same scent the lemon ver the pomegranate lemon verbena um i did go through another perfume this is jordash y'all remember jordash like hey this used to be like that off brand you thought you was cool but you ain't okay uh, the jordash for women number 72 this is supposed to be another impression of dolce and gabbana light blue i do have dolce and gabbana light blue and this stuff just did not like it smelled like it but I, it's, it seemed to turn on you a little bit after you use it so i would not recommend that one i did go through another bath bomb and it's in the scent lavender and sea salt that's what that looks like from bolero and then i okay so i kept these press on nails i don't know that i'm gonna do this again because with press on nails like they pop off sometimes and it's hard to keep up with them but these two sets i was able to keep up with so this one is the stiletto, the stiletto shaped nails 
from Dollar Tree, um, Sassy and Chic. Um, these wore really good. I actually applied these with acrylic and they lasted, I think about a week and a half and really liked it. I had applied a matte top coat over it and these were like stunning, like lace nails. And then the next one here that I used up, these were just like the standard nails that they have. This was the original design. Um, I think I, oh yeah, I think I applied these with acrylic too. And I think after they grew out a little bit, I got over the design. And so then I just painted them black and then I did some different glitter on top. So yeah, um, I do recommend, and you can kind of see right here at the bottom, that's how much the nail grew out. Again, I think they last about a week, week and a half. Um, and so, yeah, I do recommend the Sassy and Chic Press-On Nails from Dollar Tree. They're actually really good. And then the last two items that I have here, I know this was a really, really long haul. I mean, a really, really long empties video, but this is a year plus worth of stuff I used up is some Blistex. Um, this is a medicated lip balm. I really, really enjoy Blistex. I like it a lot, especially in this pot form. I've used it in like the little uh, chapstick um, form and I just didn't like it. These seem to work a lot better. So yeah, I used two of these and I really like the scent too. So yeah, I used up these two right here. And then also too, this isn't, I can't necessarily declare this an empties, but I do like it. This is actually a headband that I got from Dollar Tree. I featured it in one of my um, recent hauls and I really like it a lot. It's just like nice and cute and you know, it's nice. It was a dollar. So yeah, check those out if you see them as well. Like I said, I can't really declare it as empties, but I used the item. So here it is. And you all, I think that is it. My box is actually empty now. So yeah, this is everything that I used up from Dollar Tree over the last year. Um, I hope you all got an idea of some items that you can get from Dollar Tree that actually are worth it and other ones that you should definitely do like a hard pass on. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, leave me some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye. Repurchase this. Oops. I don't know that. Jesus Christ. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah.